Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a video that I've done a couple times before, but it seems to get a lot of views and a lot of people like it, so I thought I'd do it again, um, both for my benefit and for yours. Please ignore the fact that our tree is still up. Um, it's a fake tree, so it's not drying out and it's not going to burn our house down, but um, we're just enjoying it so much and we don't want the Christmas season to end, so... We're just keeping it up for a little bit longer. Um, but I think my mom's going to take it down like today or tomorrow, which makes me sad because I love Christmas, but I know it has to go till next year. Um, but like I said, today I'm doing a video that um, has gotten a lot of comments and likes and views. So I thought I'd do it again. Um, and I'm really excited to do it because I also really love it. And it is the baby name tag. Um, I've done this twice before. I think it was 2014, 2015, or maybe 2015, 2016. I'm not sure, but my favorite baby names change all the time. I love baby names and I love keeping lists of my favorite ones. So I thought that this would be a really good tag to do over and over again, just to see how my answers change um, and I'd love to know how your answers have changed as well um, it's definitely a topic that is one of my favorite things to talk about but enough rambling um, let's get into the video so the first question is list your favorite and least favorite names from the SSA list. Um, I believe that it's the 2015 list that's out right now. Um, so I looked at that and I'll leave the link to the list down below so that you guys can see what the list was. My favorite names from the list um, are Alexander and Charlotte. Um, they're very traditional names, I guess you could say, but I really love them. Um, I love Alexander, I always have, and I really like the nickname Lex. I think that would be such a cool nickname to give a boy named Alexander. And Charlotte is definitely a popular name in the UK, and it's becoming more popular here, and I love, love, love the nickname Lottie, so I think that would be a really fun nickname to give a little Charlotte. So those are my favorites. And then my least favorites are Mason and Isabella. Mason is just very overused in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I don't love the sound of it, but I know little, little Masons and I like them and I think they're adorable. It's just not my style. Um, and Isabella is the same thing. I think it's quite overused. Um, I do love the nickname Bella. I think it's really cute, but I just don't want my child to be one of like four Bellas or four Isabellas in her class. Number two is if you had twins, what would you name them? You have to do boy, boy, girl, girl, and boy, girl. Um, for girls, I would love to name my little girls Sophie and Stella. Um, I do love the like same first letter for twins, especially if they're the same gender. If they're different genders, I'm not like, I don't feel that's necessary. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, Sophie and Stella, love those names, think they're so cute. Um, love S's lately, and I don't know why. For boys, I would name them Francis and Finn, but no, sorry, Francis and Phineas. Um, but with the nicknames Frank and Finn. I think that'd be so cute. I actually have an Uncle Frank, um, so I think it'd be really cool to name my child Francis and call him Frank, even though my uncle's name is Franklin, but I don't think I'd use that. Um, so yeah, Frank and Finn. And for a boy and a girl, I would use Hugo and Olive. Um, I think they go really well together. The fact that Hugo stops with an O and then Olive starts with an O, I think that's really cute. Um, and I just think that they're really cute together. I could just see a little Hugo and Olive and I'd love it. Number three is if I could change my name to anything, what would I change it to? Um, and I picked Elizabeth. I actually could have been an Elizabeth, so that's probably one of the reasons I picked this. Um, I love my name, and I'm pretty sure I said this in the last video, that I love my name because it's long and classic, and I can shorten it. Like, my long name is Catherine, and then I shorten it to Kate, and I've always loved that. So with Elizabeth, uh, the long name would be Elizabeth, and then the short name would be Ellie, and I think that I love that. So, um, Ellie or Elle. I could do either one. But I just like the name Elizabeth. I like that it's royal, like my name. So really, I don't think I'd change my name, but if I had to, it would be Elizabeth. Um, number four is you have four children. Um, you can name them all whatever you want, but they have to start with the same letter. Um, and it doesn't matter what genders they are. So I picked three boys and a girl, um, and I picked the letter N. Um, not that I would ever do this, because I don't really love this idea, but regardless. Um, I picked Niall, Nixon, and Noble for my boys, and then my little girl would be Navy. Um, I really like that name lately. Number five is your favorite animal-inspired name, and as with all the questions, I picked one for a boy and one for a girl. So for a boy, I picked Fox, 
obvious animal name. And for a girl I picked Rosamund, and I feel like that has something to do with horses. Um, I did read the meaning and now I can't remember for the life of me, but I love Rosamund, I think it's a really pretty name. Number eight is your favorite color inspired names. I think these have been the same for all of my videos and for Boyd's Grey and for a girl it's Lavender. Beautiful names, probably will end up in middle name spots someday for me. Um, love them. So number seven is your top three boys' names. Um, these have probably changed a little bit. I've been getting much more into the t traditional boys' names, um, very old man type names. So my number one name right now is Frederick. Always has been. It's my grandfather's middle name, um, and he passed away seven years ago. Love the name. Love the meaning. Great name. Number two is Henry with the nickname Hank. I think that's precious. Um, I do believe it's Brooklyn Decker that has a son named Hank, and I just think it's so cute. I also know a girl um, in, I think she lives in my province, that has a son named Hank. Um, but his full name's Henry, and I love it. And then number three is actually new to my list, and it's Fletcher. I've been hearing Fletcher more and more lately, and I love it. Um, I can just see a little boy, my little boy, named Fletch. I think that's so cute. So yeah, Fletcher is number three on my list. Number eight is your top three girls' names. Um, these change so much for me. I cannot settle on girls' names that I love. Boys' names are so easy. I could have 12 boys. Girls' names are not easy. <laughs> so number one is Sophie. Like I mentioned before, I love, love, love the name Sophie. My nephew is convinced that I'm having a daughter named Sophie. And I'm not having babies anytime soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sophie would be my number one right now. Number two is Louisa. I just love it. It's so simple and elegant um, and I love the show Made in Chelsea and there's a Louise on it and I don't know Louisa just makes me feel very British. Um, and number three is Penelope. I've always loved Penelope. Um, love the nickname Poppy. I think it's so cute. I would love to have a little girl named Penelope. Number nine is your favorite celebrity baby name. Um, my favorite celebrity baby names are, I think it's Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis. Their son's name is Otis Alexander, and I believe that was my favorite last time. They have since had a little girl, and her name is Daisy Josephine, and I love it. So I think that's also the cutest subset ever. Um, and they're my favorite celebrity baby names. Number 10 is your ultimate guilty pleasure names. These are very hard for me because there's not much I wouldn't use. Um, for girl, it's Hermione, the obvious Harry Potter um, association, and I think this might have been the same last time. And for a boy, I love the name Kit, but I don't think I would ever use it because I don't love the long name of Christopher, which it is a nickname for. Um, but I do love Kit. I think it's so cute. Maybe for a middle name. I don't know. I don't know if it's usable. Um, and number 11 is your most hated baby name. I don't have a most hated baby name. I just have a naming style. Um, and if you go outside of that, I obviously am not going to really love the names. Um, so anything too trendy, don't really love. Want my kids' names to be quite timeless, old-fashioned, elegant. Yeah, don't really hate any names. Just won't find my kids' names certain things. Number 13 is to choose a baby name based on a month of the year. For boy, I chose Augustus, which comes from August. Um, I love the nickname Gus. I think it's so cute. I actually know a little Gus, um, and he's precious, so that's probably why I love it. For a girl, I chose May. I like it spelled M-A-E, though, which obviously isn't the month of the year, M-A-Y. Um, but May is a really important month to me. It's the month my parents got married, um, so I really like May. It's very special, and I think it'd be so cute to have a little girl named May. Number 14 is to choose a baby name from Twilight. I like to pick ones that aren't obvious in the movie. I do love the name Jasper. I love the name Emmett. But I didn't want to pick those, so I picked Felix. Um, love the name Felix, think it's so cute. But it does remind me of the cat, which is really unfortunate because otherwise I would probably have it on my top three list. And for a girl I chose Esme, which is sort of an obvious one, but I just love the name Esme. I think it's so precious. Um, Ezzy would be such a cute nickname. Um, so maybe it'll be on my top three list soon. I really like it the more I say it, Esme. And then the last question is to choose a baby name that's already in your family. I actually love to do my family tree, um, to research it and find out people's names just because um, I have ancestors from Ireland, England, Scotland, and Germany. And so we have really cool names in my family. Um, for boys, I chose Seymour, which is actually the middle name of my grandfather who passed away when my father was really young. Um, Frederick, which I already told you is the middle name of my grandfather who passed away seven years ago. 
Um, so that's my paternal side and my maternal side, which is awesome. And then Silas, which I think is my great-great-grandfather or something along those lines. But I love the name Silas, and I think it's so cool that it's in my family tree. And then for girls, I chose Hazel, which I believe is two of my great-grandmothers or something like that. Eva, which would be like my great-great-aunt, um, and Sadie, which is my great-grandmother, and my sister Sarah was actually named after Sadie, um, whose full name was Sarah. So I think that's really cool, and I love those names as well, and they may end up um, on my list someday soon. So that is the 15 questions of the baby name tag. Um, I hope you guys liked the update. I will leave the links to the other two videos down below so you can see kind of my progression of my names. I will also leave all my social media links down below. Um, I'm loving seeing you some of, some of you guys on Snapchat. I love it. I love that I can talk to you guys every day. Also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, I'm an Instagram freak. I love it. Um, and my blog should be opening very soon. It's taking a lot of work, but I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, so check out those links down below. Also, leave your baby name likes down below. I love to read them. Um, I'm still getting comments from my other videos, and I just love it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, um, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!